Yes, Sister Grace, good morning. Okay, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Brother Johnson. Good morning, everybody. I have to give an amazing, amazing, amazing testimony to God, to, to all of you. Praise Lord. Praise Holy Spirit. Um, a few weeks ago, I think a couple of months ago, um, I was talking about my children. And in just in the midst, all of a sudden, I mentioned something about my mom. Um, she's 90, 90 years old. And I mentioned about her being in an old age home in India, about four hours away from Bombay, and how we were trying to sell her apartment in Bombay. And Brother Johnson said to me, just call the unseen, you know, and we are all taught, you know, speak to the mountain and call what, and, you know, and, and see what you want to see and not what you can see and call the unseen and believe, which I always do. And Brother Johnson gave me this little prayer and he said, you know, for this, uh, uh, the apartments in Bombay at the moment, you know, every, anywhere in the world, especially in Bombay, nothing sells. And even if it sells, people ask you for way below what you want for it. And Brother Johnson said to me, say this, um, Jesus, our Father, you have blessed the buyer with, we, we, uh, we have blessed the, the buyer with power and um, uh, it, oh my goodness, I'm going blank now. Um, with, with gifts and with supernatural power, uh, blessings and provisions and the buyer is there coming forward, making a fantastic offer and the sale will go through smoothly. And I, I was confessing this um, and I kept, I said, send this prayer to all my siblings and I said, confess this Faith, have belief and have faith in the name of Jesus. We have a buyer which is, has been blessed with supernatural blessings by, by Abba Father and, and the transaction and everything will go smoothly. Um, we have Zoom meetings every, every week and la just last week my sisters were concerned that the buyers are asking for way below what they're wanting for the apartment. The apartment is, is, is is valued for over two crores and they're asking for about 1.5, you know, 1.4, 1.6. And I said to them, don't worry about the money, just have trust in Jesus because the, Jesus has blessed the buyer with supernatural blessings. And yesterday, last night, we got a message saying the, the, the nuns of Canosa Convent in Bombay, in Andheri, they came forward, they called, they came forward and they have an, uh, offered, uh, uh, you know, they've offered to buy the, the property um, and they've offered 1.95 crores, close to what we wanted. And not only that, the best thing is all money is in white, no black, because they were worried about that as well. So praise Jesus, praise Jesus. And now my sisters said, oh, you know, the papers are not in order because um, one of the owner on the, on the property was my brother who died about 13 years ago. And so, you know, all the papers are not in proper order. And she said, my oh, fingers crossed. I said, don't say fingers crossed. Remember, I, we said that prayer in agreement that all the transactions are gone smoothly and the property is sold. I said, believe in that, believe in that. Believe Mark 11, 20, uh, 20, uh, 23, 24. And you believe in that. And it just, from now on, keeps saying, Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Everything is sold. And it's just like that in about half an hour and the property is sold. Praise Jesus. So this is my testimony. Wow, praise the Lord. Praise God. Hello, Grace. Oh, hello, brother. I told you to say the buyer is blessed and over-blessed. And he, has, he or she has the power to buy the property in one shot, one payment, no installment, that everything goes smooth without any problem. Is that right? But Brother Johnson, that is coming to pass. That's exactly what my praise, what you said, I wrote it down. 
And what I keep saying is, Abba Father, thank you. You've blessed the buyer with supernatural blessings and provisions that he's oh, come forward. Oh. Now this you is what your right words way. are. Yeah, this is what your yeah. words are. And this is what I eat with supernatural blessings and provisions that is because, come forward. Yeah. Because grace, yeah. as your name is grace, that doesn't <laughs> mean it is grace, but oh, I'm talking about grace. The grace of God is the God's willingness to use. He has empowered us with his power, his ability at all times. Yes. To be yes, used sir. Yes. on our behalf, even though we don't deserve it. Now, yeah. now, according to the word of God, we are the one who call the shots. Yes. According to the world, the economy is low. Yes. But according to the shots that we call, we say, good buyer, already blessed by God. Yes. God is the one who gives the power to get wealth. Yeah. The wealth is overflowing. Praise God. And yes. that's why the person likes the property so much that the person is able to give the premium price in one installment. Just one shot. No. Brother, Brother Johnson, I also, I also say this. Abba Father, he, the, the buyer loves the property so much. This property is a blessing to the, to the new owner and the buyer loves it. It is a blessing to him, by Abba Father. This is another sentence I add as well. So congratulations. Thank you. And I tell you what, okay. uh, uh, brother, I'll tell you what, Brother Johnson, I use this in every day of my life because I'm a real estate agent and I use this for difficult sales, real difficult sales. I use it. And the last week I had another sale where the, uh, you know, they have to do a building in pest and building inspection before the purchaser puts it, you know, when they put an offer. And this particular property had already failed the building inspection. And when we got the new offer and the, the second buyer said they were, had, build, had to do building inspection. And uh, my boss said to me, oh, you know, I said, I didn't want to listen to him. I didn't want to say anything. I just said, the same prayer, and I said, Abba Father, this is a young couple who are buying the property. They are blessed. The, ble the, 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 uh, the home is a blessing to them. They're having, the lady, the young girl is pregnant. They're saying this is a blessing for them and for the new baby is going to come in. And guess what? It, you know, I didn't even mention to anybody that the building inspection had failed before. I hope this happened. I hope this, nothing. But I was so confident because I was just resting with what I was saying. And it passed beautifully and the property got sold. So who is in charge of calling the shots? Me. Me. And, and what is the world saying? Uh, you know, the I didn't want to talk to anyone about it. And, you know, and the thoughts keep coming to me. You know, what are you talking about? The, the, it's failed, already failed. There's leak here, there's leak then. I said, nah, it's all been fixed by the angels. The spare parts have come from heaven. I thank God the, the global teaching is making people <laughs> believers and not beggars. That's another thank sentence God. I said. I'm a believer, Jesus. I'm not a beggar. Amen. Thank God the children are... The Most High God are believers and not beggars. Praise God. Praise God. And thank Praise God, God everybody is now coming to understand our inheritance. And we use our mouth to speak our inheritance and call things from the invisible to the visible. And this yes. power is not given only to few. It's given to every child of God. Oh, Amen. Uh, uh, and, if somebody is saying, yeah. and if somebody is saying this is given only to the few people, anointed preachers or chosen ones. It's a big lie. It's from the pits of hell. Reject it. The very thing that you are baptized in Jesus, you are empowered to call things from the invisible to the visible. In yes. God's kingdom, there is no partiality. If he did it for Paul, Peter, James and John, he does it for me as well. But the question is, am I willing to follow his instructions? Praise God. Grace, how do you feel being a believer? Oh, I don't know what to describe. 
My heart is overjoyed. I could not sleep the whole night. I was just thanking and praising Jesus in tongues as well. And Brother Johnson, I have two auctions this week and one auction next week for two apartments which do not sell in Australia, you know. And But no, they're sold. I know they're sold. That's all. You know, it says rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. I always, you know, and I say I rejoice. That's what I keep saying. I've cast all my cares on Jesus. Can you do one more, and, one more homework for me? Yes. The person whose property you sold. Yes. Knows that last time it had failed, right? No, no, no. We never tell the new buyer that. We leave, no, we the leave for the builder. I'm not telling huh? the new buyer. The seller huh? knows it, right? Yeah, the seller the, knows. Yeah, the seller knows. So go and tell the seller what happened and how it got yeah. sold. Yeah. Plant the seed. Plant the seed. If he accepts, praise God. If he doesn't accept, the seed is still planted. The season will come for it to sprout. That's not yes. your lookout. Your lookout, my lookout is plant the seed. Jesus said, I will build a church. You don't go to build a church. Let Jesus build. You only sow the seed. Yeah. So when you tell yeah. that person, do you remember the last time it had got rejected? It was yeah. not accepted. Yeah. Let me tell you, the last time I did not know how to pray, this time I learned. And this is the principle that I used. And this is because yeah. of my relationship with Jesus. Yeah. So I'm just introducing to you, if at all something gets locked up somewhere, Okay, call out to him even once. Yeah. Just call out his name. Yeah. And then don't forget to give me a call, the testimony that you will experience. Yeah. Plant seeds in people's heart in such a way that even though they reject, that seed remains. And when nothing works, they will remember this word. Call him up. He is always one step away from your call. Yeah. You call him up, he says hello. By the time he says hello, the demons have already gone for a flight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, praise brother, God. Brother, praise my, God. My, my, my boss who I work with, you know, he asked me the other day, saying, how come, when so much problems around you, how come you're so bubbly all the time, you're so happy, you know, but nothing worries you, how come? I said, because I've got Jesus in me. I told him. He is a, he is a Christian. He's a Christian. He's a born again Christian. And he knows that I pray a lot. I listen to the morning zoom meeting. He knows. And, and I told him, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm telling him all oh, everything. He says, how come I said, I've got faith. And even this week's auctions we have, um, you know, uh, we don't, we have no bias for the auction or nothing, but I tell him the properties are sold. And he said, he said to me, I love, I love your positiveness. I love, I said, that's because I have faith in Jesus and, you know, and I have Jesus in me. That's what I've told him the other why don't day. You, why don't you make a deal with him? <laughs> Tell him there are two kinds of boss. One they are, that are saved and one who is about to get saved now. Which Amen. one are you? No, 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 he's Christian. He's Christian. but He, he is Christian by yet. birth, yes. Baba. No, no, he's no, no, he's a practicing, yeah. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. I was, I was born Christian all my life, but 33 yeah. years I was working for the devil. Yeah. Now you say, you mean to say you were worshipping the devil? No, but no. the lies of the devil were so deep that all the fruits were of the kingdom of darkness. I Did see. Jesus say you will know the tree by the fruit? No, by its root. Grace, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. When you want to share your testimony, your voice was so loud. When I'm sharing, no, no, my no, I'm here. Your voice has become low. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Did you hear what I said? Yes. 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 We have to but recognize the tree so, by its so, root, not by its fruit. So your boss is a Christian by birth. Yeah. Do one thing. Do one thing. Yeah. Tell him. Tell him. Which one are you? And tell him, don't tell him pray with me, okay? Tell him yeah. just repeat these words after me. Yeah. If you say pray with me, he will he might faint. <clears throat> yeah. You tell him, can you repeat some words with me? Yeah. And lead him to Christ. 
Yes. And ask the Lord to take over his life and be the Lord of his life. That's all. Lord of his life. Yeah. Don't make a long prayer, simple. Jesus, come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. And I choose to believe you took my place on the cross and you died in my place to save me. Yeah. Come, Lord Jesus, come and save me and be the Lord of my life. Come into my heart now in Jesus' name. Amen. Then the very next question you ask, now where's Jesus? If he understood what he said, he will say, he's in my heart. The moment he said he is in my heart, Satan has to back off. And now, by default, he will be interested in the word of God. Because when a person becomes born again, his spirit has become new. And now the new spirit is hungry for the word. Grace. Yes, 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 I'm listening. I want this testimony. <laughs> yes, I'm listening. I, I will be dancing more than the property that is sold. Yes. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Yes, praise yes, God. yes. And I can tell you what, Brother Johnson, the devil is a liar. Yes. Oh, he's a liar. The way he has, you know, engulfed our, our lives for years with financial difficulty. He is a liar. He's used made me use scriptures from the Bible and he is a liar, you know? You know, you know the day he made a mistake of taking me to the corner to kill me? Yeah. That was the biggest mistake he ever did. And I always say, the devil's mistake is an opportunity for us to get promoted with the highest reward. Amen. Your testimony became more beautiful because the last time it was rejected. And this time the angels went and fixed it. Yeah. So what yes. the devil does evil, that is an opportunity to beat him up at his game by calling things that be not as though they were and turn it into a big testimony, into a reward. Yeah. yeah have you ever heard, sense. Grace, have you ever heard people saying, the devil attacked me? Yes, yeah. many times. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever say that in the yeah. past? Um, in I the have past. not said. I have never said the devil attacked me. I have always prayed the wrong prayer, and I've said, "Oh God, why are you not helping me? Why are you not coming to my to my aid?" That is because before I knew the truth. Okay, do you why have you never not said helping that, me. You have never said that I'm under attack. And I don't remember saying that, but I have always been prayerful. I've always been prayerful and always fighting with Jesus. Why are you not helping me? You know, um, but now I realize I, I'm a believer. I'm not a beggar. But before I used to use the scriptures, Brother Johnson, and my life, our financial life is such a mess in our past. For 20 years, for 20 years, we could not get out of the bondage because the devil is such a liar, Brother Johnson. He made me use scriptures from the Bible, you know, um, and I would say have the scriptures and I would pray. I would take the first miracle of Jesus and say to Mother Mary, Mother Mary, come help me speak to Jesus. You asked him to change water to wine. Why is my life not changing? All the scriptures I used to without understanding, without believing the truth. Now do you feel be being a believer? Oh my goodness. I just kicked the devil. I just put him under my feet all the time. I said, the one <laughs> in me is great. Say that again. I put him under my feet. I kick him. I said, we get away because Jesus has won victory from the cross. I'm a, vic I'm a victor. I'm not a victim anymore. Amen. 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 Praise God. Tell us more. I'm enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying the bite also. Oh, brother, I was not ready to give my life testimony to you, but it's a long story. <laughs> Praise God. You know, it is what has happened was, Brother Johnson, we moved to New Zealand. My, my husband had a really beautiful job on, with an American oil company on the ship. And 
earning a big, big mega bucks. But when we had to start the family and I told him, money is nothing to me. You come over because if you have to start a family, I want a mom and a dad for my children together. He did that in 1992, <laughs> did not get any job in New Zealand, did not get any job because at that time, New Zealand was suffering, uh, having a, the biggest depression. And people kept telling him, what are you doing? You go back to the ship. But we kept to our word, we brought the children up. I went to work and I went to work. I was a new mother. My children were four months old. I used to go to work. He had no job, you know? But all that we went through, we were praying. We were praying the wrong prayer. You know, we were praying verses from the Bible. We were going to all the novenas, the divine mercy novenas, you know, the porta novenas, everything we were doing. And I, my famous, my very, very famous um, scripture from the Bible was Mark 6, Mark 6, sorry, Matthew 6, 25, 32. And I used to keep saying, Jesus, you have, you have, you have, you know, you're feeding the birds, you're clothing the, the uh, flowers from the, from the field, which are there tomorrow, today and in the fire tomorrow. Um, you know, why I, why is our finance not being met? Um, and, and, but I, what I used to forget was the very important um, script, uh, 3334, where Jesus, you know, says, uh, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. The, I, the devil would not let me go up to that, you know, that, that scripture. All I was focusing is what Jesus has provided, but I was not focusing on what I used to seek the kingdom first. You know, and with this scripture, I went on and then we came to Australia. We got a, Robert got a job. I got a job. We started new. We had the money which we sold in New Zealand, the house. And all over again, the devil, the devil came again, you know, tempting us that we should be having investment properties. And we did. Did the wrong move, Brother Johnson. Every investment property was a wrong move. And I used to. Uh, you know, um, uh, just these two scriptures, you know, saying, Jesus, you have provided, you have provided, you have provided without saying, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then when things went wrong, I would tell Mother Mary, you know, the first miracle you made Jesus change water into wine, you know, to help me. And when the, it, and we went in such a huge, um, uh, such a huge uh, debt, Brother Johnson, you know, even my husband doesn't know, he's listening, he's listening, but he doesn't know we went up to a debt of $2 million. You know, he, he, I would not tell him that I had such a huge debt because my husband is a warrior. He worries, you know, and I didn't want him to be stressed. He was a warrior. <laughs> he was a warrior. Yeah, you I better didn't be want careful with to... your words. <laughs> He was a warrior. That's what I said. My husband was a warrior. He worries about, he used to worry about everything, you know, and then he, because he never to discuss, I never to tell him. And but I do, you know, carry but this. do you know, before you go ahead, do yeah. you know that's a powerful gift from God? About worrying? Just the way he's having a great capacity to worry. Yeah. I come under the same category we can take a small thing and amplify it so big yeah. that that is a gift from God. But the problem yes. is we picked up the wrong seed and amplified it. Yeah, now, what I am I doing? Wrong, now what am I yeah. doing in the word of God? Yeah. It's the gift which I take a seed and I amplify it so big and God says, can you amplify even more? Because when you take my seed, there is no limitation in amplifying it. And that's why God is looking for people who can imagine big because we serve a big God. And when we serve a big God, we seek him first and our imagination, our thinking, our dreaming is all about the kingdom very, very big. So please tell your husband, I love him. He's not a warrior anymore. No, he's no, not. No, no, but bad. tell him that that's a gift from God. And when yes. he takes the word and starts using that word and magnifies yes. it, he yes. will make the devil pay for the last 20 years. Uh, yes. All that yes. he has stolen from him, he has to yes. pay back seven times. Yes. 
And Brother Johnson, I tell you what, that, you know, the way I was not doing it, you know, I could call greed, you could call whatever, but I was doing it thinking we have to build up our portfolio. We have to do it for the children. You know, we, I kept saying that we have to do it for the children. And this is not, this is the thought coming from the devil. You know, it is. You it don't is, do it for it the children, not, you do it for the Lord. You know, it was, it, and I kept saying, we do, if I, that's what it was. I didn't know the truth that whatever we do, we do it for the Lord. Um, and my, my father died of a big heart attack because of that. He was only 49 when he died because he worried about his children. He thought he had to provide for the kids. And, and that's famous scripture where the man said, you know, when Jesus gives the parable that the, the farmer says, I will, you know, put, store everything in the barn and I will sit back and enjoy. And the Lord says, Are you fool tonight, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm coming to take your, your soul. And every time that parable was read in the, in the church, I used to think of my father and I used to say, dad, why did you do this? Why? You know, because you, all you wanted to do was, was create wealth and, and God took your life. And we were also young when you died, not knowing that I was doing the same thing. You know, I was saying, doing the same thing. I was saying, this is for the kids. This is for the kids. Lord help us. This is for the kids. Not knowing that we were going deeper and deeper in death. Till 2017, Brother Johnson, when I first met you, when, when, when I first met you, so when, when I first uh, uh, attended your service and I was started listening and I said, this is from the devil. All what we have got is from the devil. We have to start getting rid of it. But then because it was a wrong decision, it was hard to get rid of the properties. But what we did was we sold them at a loss just to reduce our debt. We sold them at a loss. Okay, because it was a big debt for us to carry. We, our salaries are not very high. And then, uh, you know, we, uh, I was still not proper in the, in the word of God. I was listening and I was listening to the sow and the seed. And that gave me, God has been faithful. Jesus has lifted me every time we have fallen. Every time I've fallen, he's lifted me. He know, I know he is a plan for me. Jeremiah 29, 11, he has a plan for me and he's doing this for a reason. He has lifted me. And I was prompted to sell those properties. One, you know, one, two, three, four, we sold at a loss, way below what we paid. We didn't care. At least the debt was reduced. And then now the debt is reduced to under a million dollars. And, and even then I would say, you know, if my, if, if Robert is to say, you have to give to charity, you have to give to charity. And I used to keep repeating, I used to tell him, my daughter's over a nearly a million dollars. Where's the money coming from? I can't give it to charity. Till, till, till we were the brother Johnson, you emphasize Luke 638. And this has all happened from the, from all the Zoom, uh, you know, during lockdown and we're glued to the morning breakfast. Luke 638, you emphasize it so much. And Robert keeps telling me, we have to give. And I used to keep saying, if we don't have, where will we give from? But now, Brother Johnson, I also uh, listen to the preaching of, uh, um, of, of, of the, the brother who, who you live with Dubai. What's his name? I forget. He, he was preaching on riches. and Sudhir, what he Sudhir, said Sudhir. To, Sudhir, Sudhir. Sudhir, yes. I heard one of his teaching and that kicked me so much. He said, whatever belongs, and what you have also taught us, but what he taught, taught, told, said, really hit me. He said, whatever we have comes from God. God gives us, okay? We are stewards here, he's given. And so what we have, what, we, what people do is when they get the pay, when they get the salary, they pay their bills, they pay their interest, they pay their mortgage, and only after what is left over, they will reluctantly put in, a, in the boxes which are passed around in churches for offerings and think of donation. And he says, no, 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 that is not how it should be. It should be everything you have is a gift from God. Your life, the, you know, your breath, the money comes in. So isn't it rightful that whatever, when we receive a pay, the first thing we do is think of God. And he said, when he said that, he said this, and he gave us his example. The moment his salary comes in, he takes 10% out from there and gives a donation. And that is what I have been doing. As soon as the salary touches our account, 
I take 10% out of it and put it in another account, Brother Johnson. And it has blessed me, blessed us so much. We don't know where the money is coming in from now. In the lockdown, when nothing was moving, you know, we, money was coming in. There was enough money for us to pay my interest and everything. So I put that 10% in a different account and I just give it to charity, give it here, give it there. And I keep saying, this is for a big mission. This is for a big mission coming my way. I put that money aside. The first thing where the salary comes, the 10% goes into a donation account and this is for a big mission, which is happening. Okay, and my big mission is your mission in Africa is in my mind. And I'm saying this is for a big mission when it's become a big sum, you know. And then what happened, I heard a testimony um, on the morning breakfast, someone was really in need. And I told Robert, this is a mission. Someone is in need of money. Let us send some money. And when I was, when I, that morning when, when we were doing the opening uh, prayer in tongues, and this voice, this message came to me, someone is in need of money. You heard the testimony. And I told Robert, and you know, look, the money is there for, for, a, for, for someone in need. And he said, no, give whatever you want to do. And when I was doing the transfer, and I said, oh, this is for a big mission. I'll probably only do 10 or 20%. And then, then, the, then something inside me said, no, the person is in need. You just give it. And whatever was in there, I just transferred it, Brother Johnson. And God has blessed me. That same day, I sold three properties, same, same week. <laughs> same no. week, Brother whoa, whoa, Johnson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Oh. You, know, you know what, Grace? You know what, Grace? Someone was in bigger need than me, Brother Johnson. Listen, listen, Grace. Heart. Listen, listen. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. You know what? People can come to the breakfast table and eat the breakfast. But the real person who chews it and enjoys the juice of it is the one who has the guts to believe and operate by following the instruction. People who don't follow the instruction come and watch everybody getting blessed, but nothing happens to them. Because the kingdom of God is not only by saying, it is believing. Yeah, I believe, yes. Say that again, you gave the seed and then what happened? I, yeah, I went to do the transfer because I was saving that for a big mission, okay, for a big, some big charity, big mission. And my mission was your African mission. And I said, someone in need. And here and there, if anyone needs, I just drop, give out from that, from that account. But when I went to do this transfer and I thought, oh, I'll give 10% out of this because this is for my big mission. And when I actually doing the transfer, the, this voice said to me, it is for a big mission. This is a big mission for you because someone is in really need. And all, the, the whole amount which I had collected in that donation account, I just transferred it, brother. And the joy I had because someone could use it. And that same week, I sold three properties. No, 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 no. Grace, Grace, Grace. Yeah. Do you know how much you hurt me now? Oh. That money was supposed to come to me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm still putting aside. Brother Johnson, it is still there. Because that happened about two or three no, weeks no, ago. No, no, you gave it to somebody else. I'm so sad. Oh, my, God. my God is big, Brother Johnson. And hello, my salary hello, hello, is coming hello, in. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, you, know, you know, the best part is when I said you can give your money to anybody. Yes. But see to it that that person comes to the Lord. Don't make a yes. beggar out of it. <coughs> no, no, no. The person is in the Lord. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of them send me a message saying the tithe should go to the preacher. So I said, if Cornelius was a pagan, and he gave alms, and the money reached the head office from a pagan. You mean to say the money from a Christian bank can't reach the head office? Shantala just put it. My brother is looking at me. Shantala, are you there? Put that yes, Acts Baba. chapter 10 verse 1. I love it now to preach. Oh, Jesus. Grace, don't go. Grace, please stay today for some more time, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know sure, you'll be sure. getting late for your office. 
No, that's please, okay, please. brother. I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll stay. Okay. Now, Grace, can you read that, please? <coughs> okay. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared God with all his house, which gave such alms to the people and prayed to God always. Then. Uh, one, one moment, sorry. Then, then. Yeah, yeah, one moment. I'm, I'm getting a band across one moment. Okay, here we go. And when he looked, sorry. Uh, he, he saw, saw in a vision. vision. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? Uh, and he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine arms are come up for a Memorial before God. Was he a and pagan? Now, hold, on, hold on. Was he a pagan? Yes, he was. Was he giving alms to the poor? Yes, he was. He was a man of God. But he, he did not know God. He was a pagan. He was a pagan. But he yeah. gave alms to God, alms to yeah. the poor. Yeah. And his money given to the poor, did it reach the head office? Yes, it did. So you mean to the Christian giving to the poor will not reach the head office? Of course it does. So who told you it has to be given to the preacher only? I wasn't giving to you, Brother Johnson. I was giving to your mission. No, no, no. What I mean to say, sister. Let's be, <laughs> let's be. Yeah. I'm not talking about me. Ah, sorry. I'm not talking yeah, about okay. me. Yeah. What happens is, people say the tithe should come to the preacher or to those who preach the word. Yeah. What you give to the poor is your arms. Yeah. But what I see is whether you give to the church, to the pastor, to the preacher, or you give to the poor, it's your heart condition that you see who is more urgent needed. Yes. How would it look that you put that, say, $1,000 in the preacher's box, whereas your next door neighbor is dying because he doesn't have money to buy the medicine. Yeah. Which one do you think God or Jesus would be happy about? Giving the next door neighbor who do, doesn't have anything for his medicine. So, so don't make it a law. Make it your heart condition. Yes. And I thank God for this testimony that the next time somebody says, I'll say, watch it. Because if Cornelius was a pagan and he gives to the poor and he still reached the head office, uh, do you all have banks with that? Um, uh, supposing you got what, what bank is there in, in Australia? Bank of Melbourne, Westpac. Okay, Bank of Melbourne. Do they have yeah. branch in Sydney? Yes, they do. So if somebody, if somebody wanted to uh, put some money in your account, and you got an account in Melbourne. Okay? Yeah. Can that person put the same amount in, the, in a branch in Sydney with your account number? Yes. Does it Any come branches, into your account? Yeah. Yes, it does. So if, it, if you put it in the poor man's account or you put it in the church or you put it in the preacher, does it still go to the main, main head office? Uh. Um, to the pre I, yeah, could be. I don't know, but I know when it, it's in a bank, it goes to our, it comes to our account. No, no, no. If you put it uh, in a poor man's account, yeah, yeah, or you give it to a preacher, yeah, or you give it to the church, yeah. Okay, did you yeah. do it for the Lord's sake? Um, initially, we were. I was doing it because uh, you know it was coming. The you know. The, they were passing the box and, you know, we have to put something and I was doing it. Um, but now? But now, no, now, no. It is, it, it, it is, God has given me and I, what, what before to bless I do somebody. anything, I have yeah, to bless you want somebody. To bless somebody. 
Correct. So let's say you gave it to the poor. Did it still go yes. to God? It goes. It goes to the head office. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm asking you. Yes, it so does. So you gave yes. it to the preacher. Did yes. it still go to the head office? Yes, it does. Yes. This is what the Lord taught me. Hmm. Not now. In my beginning time. And the Lord taught me. Don't be under the law. Be under the law of love. Whatever you do, do it because of love. Yes. Even the tithes you give, you don't give because you it will multiply, but give because you love me, and you also know it multiplies. And be rejoicing that when it multiplies, you have more to give. Yeah. A yes. person can hear a hundred times the same message and still not understand. And a person can understand this message just once and understand it and move into action. Brother Johnson, when Brian Robert kept telling me, you have to put money in the church, you have to give donation. And I used to tell him, I'm just robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm robbing from this. I'm taking money from this account to move that account. And I'm struggling. Where will I put money in the church? But now I understood the principle of Luke 638, Brother Johnson, that give and it shall be that's given why, to that you is why with love. People, yes. That's why I say if a person understands the truth, yes. no way a Christian can ever live in debts. Yes. Impossible. Yes, yes. The I don't look at my debts anymore, Brother Johnson. I don't look at my debts anymore. I don't look at my... You are debt free in I'm Jesus' debt. name. Every Praise day you Lord. keep saying, sister, every yes. day you keep saying, Christ yes. has redeemed me from every curse, because, especially yes. financial curse, because yes. I am under Abraham's blessing. Supernaturally, yes. you will be making deals that will yes. clear up all your... All your debts in no time. Thank you. Supernaturally. Thank you, Brother Keep Johnson. saying Thank you. that you are under Abraham's blessings. Abraham you, was Johnson. overflowing with blessings of God. Yeah. Keep saying that at least a hundred times, two hundred times. It's not because you are saying it under the law. You are saying that over and over again because you want to build up your faith. Yes. You want to build yes. up your confidence. Yes. I have made a vision, Brother Johnson. I'll tell you, we have got a property in Queensland, in the mining area. When we brought that property, it was flourishing. We bought that property about 420,000 and was earning an, an, a, a rent per week, about $600 a week. Today, that property is not even worth $100,000. And I, the only rent I get from there is about $150. And all I used to say to anybody, that property is bleeding us. That property is bleeding us. Because of that property, we've gone into more debt, more debt, more debt. But Brother Johnson, when I've known the truth, when I know the truth will set me free, I do not say that anymore. Because, you know, life and death is in the power of your tongue. Now, only what I confess, Jesus, you have paid my debt on that cross. Jesus, you have paid my debt on that cross. And my, I'm debt free. And I know, and I've also made a vision and said, you know, um, in, uh, I've made a vision and uh, I've said that, that, again, the same words, God has blessed the, the buyer with supernatural blessings and provision and that the buyer has made a, a fantastic offer for the price we have paid so you know, that, that debt is, is paid off. And not only that, I have enough um, about at least about ten thousand dollars to give to a big mission, and that is my vision, Brother Johnson. And I know it is happening. Can I talk to you? And it's coming. Can I talk to yes. You? Oh, sorry. Can I, okay. Can I talk to you? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Do you know what's under the ground of that property? So that again. Do you know what is underground in that property? Earth, you, know, you know only from the top, no, the surface. Yeah, yeah. 
You don't know what is the treasure underneath, right? No. Do you know? No. So why are you worried? You say, Lord, that property is filled with so much of treasures. A person who understands the treasure is coming and giving me a premium price. Yes. And even That's if there is no treasure, vision. God can create the treasure. Because see, if God can say, because Lot chose the fertile land and this is a desert, God said, for your sake, I'll make it so fertile. Yes. Yes, the rivers there, are flowing. It's there in the Bible. Come on. Yes, Grace. of course. Yes. All you need is the guts to believe it. Yes, I believe. I believe he's open to in you my desert. Yes, I do. So if, if God can tell Abraham, you trusted me and you gave Lord the first chance and you already knew that Lord would pick up the best property. And he yes. picked up the best, full of greenery. But what the Lord did not understand was he picked up the property with a lot of sin in that property. And that destroyed everything in his life. Yeah. Whereas Abraham said, you, you choose right, I choose left. Whatever you choose, you choose first. Who should have been choosing first? Abraham. But yes. he said, I know my God can bless me anyway. And Lord chose the fertile sand, fertile land. And Abraham said, okay, what is remaining is mine. And God said to Abraham, because you trusted me, I will make that land so fertile. Because you trusted me, God is saying to you, Grace, this morning, I will make that property so fertile that only a person who understands that land has got some treasure which is, according to his profession, will come and buy that land at a premium price in Jesus' name. Praise Lord. Thank and you then Jesus. you will come and say again, hey, Brother, that day you spoke, no. It happened. I'm not speaking as a prophecy. I'm speaking what's in the word. I'm not an astrologer. Please don't come to me. I'm speaking what is in the Bible. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Brother Johnson. Amen. Are there people here who, who want to um, be ruled by the word of God? Or there are some who want to be ruled by some magic? No more magic in my life. It's a word of God. Word of God. <laughs> <laughs> because many have gone behind magic and ruined their life completely. Oh, the devil is a liar. As I mentioned, he made me use scriptures from the Bible only halfway, not even full way, you know? And I believe because I have been brought up as a Catholic going to church, reading Bible, and not understand the truth, Brother Johnson. Oh, Jesus, I love this flower, this good breakfast table. Yeah. Linus, love you. <laughs> Praise God. Linus. So amazing, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Praise Linus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Linus. Every day we're receiving delicious breakfast. Thank you, Sister Grace. That was Praise amazing. God. That's amazing. a powerful testimony. Look, yes. look how, 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 the, how bad you are. I gave you so many kisses, you did not even say thank you, brother. You are only. Why do you do this to me always, Linus? Even if I become in a good mood that today I should not trouble you, you still trouble me. Brother, she 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 actually served as the sumptuous breakfast, brother, and you just you know talked it up with with beautiful uh, you know I should but say. Do you know how many kisses I gave you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was I must give you kisses now. Please accept my kisses. It's coming. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. God. Thank you, so Jesus. It, 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 love is Jesus. Flowing. it is it is it is so much of love, brother. That's that's the so most much of love. Praise yes. God. Yeah, love is flowing. Receive Amen. it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And the truths that are being revealed, you know, and, and there are so many, brother. Just like Sister Grace, so many are getting blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Amen. I, can, I can see the anointing that's flowing right now. And uh, what it all is. the words that you just spoke, brother. And I believe we're going to get more victories. We're going to get more breakthroughs in the name you know, of Jesus. You know, you, know, you know, brother, for me, the greatest joy is the day everyone understands the relationship of Jesus as a believer. 
the identity of a person in Christ Jesus. And this identity in Christ Jesus is for every one of us. And if anybody Amen. is saying you're a lay person, I'm included in that inheritance. Praise God. It's time Praise for God. the lay people to get up and get the job done, the mission. Praise God. Wow, I just love this kingdom principle, brother. So beautiful. Yes. Yeah. yes. Wow. And 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 uh, Sister Grace was saying, you know, I did not know, even though I had the scriptures, I did not know, and but I'm still worrying. And you know that worry comes, you know, only because we did not know how to stand on the promises. And thanks to you that you showed us how to stand on the promises, and be at peace. Now we take the promises, but we are not at peace because it yeah. is all about ourselves. And so we're so so much, Sister Grace, about you know what is in it for me and how much I can benefit. Nothing's happening to me, me, me. And the moment you realize, you know, it's Matthew 6.33 and just cast, give it to him and seek him. Now yeah. that burden went off your shoulders. It went off and now it's on Jesus. And from him we receive. And now we started beginning to understand, oh, this is how it works. This is how it works. Yeah. Because I, as he, I, I was a worry warrior too. I, I was. And I worry for little things. As you said, I, there were nights, you know, when I couldn't even sleep. I used to get up in the middle of the night and suddenly with palpitations. Hey, because, Baba, what uh, happened? Suddenly your voice went off. Uh, went off? Can you hear me? Yeah, it was, it was a bit low, Brother Linus. Oh, because sorry. sometimes he keeps the phone <laughs> close, sometimes he keeps the phone far. No, no, it's... it's um, I'm not sure what it happened. But, uh, I was saying, uh, brother, I was saying, uh, I used to get up in the middle of the night, brother, suddenly, you know, I used to get up in the middle of the night, and for me, uh, when it comes to money, you know, and, it, and when it comes to, you know, loans and all that, because when we came first into this country, and, and most and most uh, people out here, we all actually at some stage or the other, when we come here, we actually, uh, no, not some stage, I mean, we, we all have a uh, loan. Yeah, you know, there's an, there's an average saying, you know, in Australia, that, you know, uh, that uh, every person, every household has a, a mortgage, which is a house loan, a car loan, and that that's been like the, and I don't know what are the loans, but these two loans are the main. So every they used to say every man with a dog has a loan like that, you know, uh, and and that's been like you know that's like a burden we carry the burden all our life and and the bank because because, never because you, you because in Melbourne they have got that saying and you also agree with that saying you end up becoming that what they were saying. Yes, yes, yes. In the past, yeah, yeah, and. Um, and so and so and especially uh, and especially anglo indians have got a lot of sayings <laughs> <laughs> i'm not joking let uh, linus <laughs> and most of the sayings are not on the positive side but on the dangerous side i am not sure of that but i don't know <laughs> because i i used to go to chennai no Oh, yes, I yes. see her. Um, mm -mm. Praise God. So, so uh, I, I was saying uh, there were times when I used to, I'm talking about my initial years, you know, when I came and bought a property and all that. And then the job that, that I was in, I used to work in a bank and uh, with jobs in the bank, you know, they constantly keep uh, retrenching staff. They constantly keep, you know, getting people from overseas to work here. And so therefore the staff is being moved or they're retrenched or, you know, things like that. So it was like that fear of what happens if, my lose, if I lose my job, you know, and all those things. And because I got a house, mortgage, I got a family to run, you know, and all those, those worry, worry, worry constantly. And uh, when I actually started, uh, you know, listening to the CD and uh, whenever I have any of those issues, I used to actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, get your CD and start listening to speaking to the storms, you know, um, that, that, that is the, at, just after this, uh, the spirit, soul, and body teachings, the next one is uh, speaking to the storms, and then you know uh, you 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 beautifully you know explain how, about how to speak to the storms, how to open your mouth and you know speak the promises of God, and you have angels go and they, they work for us and all that. That that teaching actually slowly, slowly, you know, I started understanding the teaching, and and then I started casting my cares onto the Lord. It just it just you know worked worked you know it's working. 
uh, against me, started working for me, and slowly I came out of it. It was not just overnight, but it was the truth, the truth. And as Grace was explaining, I was putting myself in that position, saying, "Yes, I too was like that." And like us, like like Grace, many of us have been like that. Although we have the problems, although we didn't know how to stand on the problems, we did not know how to apply the truth. We did not know how to, you know, stay at peace having the truth in us, because it is all about ourselves and you know, what will happen. What what about the ifs and buts? And I believe now this has opened up <coughs> such a it's it's open given us so much of enlightenment. Now we know how to how to you know apply these biblical principles in our lives and how to get uh, you know the the devil out of our lives you know in 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 the situation that we are facing at the moment. So so that that's that's very very important and we have to guard ourselves against praying fear based prayers or or you know practicing biblical principles out of fear okay so and we and that's what we are learning that's what we're learning and you're, you're explaining that so beautifully how to you know overcome the situation because fear is a spiritual force just like faith but fear will bring to pass what we don't want to happen so that's what we're doing. so praise god brother. thank you so much uh, for the beautiful explanation and you know uh, a beautiful and, and thank you to sister grace as well you know uh, if anybody else has more questions to ask let's let's get it out right now because that's a, a beautiful opportunity so praise god thank I, you jesus you know linus i have not even yes, started brother <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> yes you you're saying something yeah sister shantala was saying something no grace sister grace yeah i said uh, you know huh. um, I I was introduced to brother Johnson only in 20 August of 2017 um uh, by when Roshni said you have to come and listen to this to this brother sister Grace you have to and I said is he a priest she said no he's not a priest but it's worth coming and listening and and you you were brother Johnson you were in Melbourne for one whole week and she kept telling me and I said no he's he is not a priest I don't want to listen I've listened to so many people like that and then she kept persisting and the very last one uh, the, the, the second to the last one i heard you in glen waverley in at st leonard's church and i was amazed and robert and i kept saying why didn't we come to this before and then the next day was good friday when we met when we were in that nere warren church uh, in when monica you took the oxygen tank from monica and made a walk and even then when we were entering the church because we didn't know the whole group when we saw when we were entering the church on good friday everyone everything was pin drop silent and the mm-hmm. person i met outside was jay and uh, lawrence and i'm and robert and i said is this true if these people don't even look as though they are preachers and they look like some gundas from from the from bombay <laughs> street you know oh, and god, then god my and, god enough 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 <laughs> ഫോയസ്ോഡ്നസ് Is does it work like this you know and we heard you on that day and then even then as linus mesh i'm sorry brother johnson but when i saw you all i could see was your big tummy that's all i would look at i would be distracted <laughs> distracted i'm sorry i'm telling you the truth you know and i'm saying wow how can he be preaching you know and then I, and uh, then of course i was i took the saw and the seed and started listening to it but as linus mentioned full of worries you cannot take anything in full of worries you give us the, the example of job so many times and i listen to the cd so many times but when the temptation is bigger and it keeps telling you when the bank balance tells you you know this is not true this is not right and the money is going down and all these teachings go out the door and again you start all over again and temptation is greater but it was only at this from the, this april when we first started the morning session 
um, you know, and I got into it. And even then, you know, I was not fully into it, but I volunteered. I said, I, Jesus, I want to know more about you. I, I want to know you. I want to build that relationship. Like everybody else on the Zoom is having, they're coming overnight and they've got the relationship. Why can't I have it, Jesus? Why can't I have it? Why Holy Spirit, show me the way. And I prayed that night and I went to sleep. And the next morning, somebody announced we want e-writers. And I put my hand up straight away. I want to be a e-writer. And that's taught me so much, so much to go deeper into the e-writing, what I do. Thank you, Brother Johnson. You're awesome. Thanks, God. Yes, First, you call God. me a gunda. <laughs> now you say you're awesome. <laughs> And, and, and you put Bombay Jay out of all, you call Jay is a gunda? <laughs> but that Maybe is what you Lawrence sound. You didn't understand what you said. Lawrence and I, okay, Lawrence and I, okay. But you call Jay? Jay, yes, and, you know, he said, and, and, and all, all he kept saying was keeping us in one corner because we're not supposed to make it. It was Good Friday, the, you know. And uh, and we were all outside the church. I can understand, church. sister, everything you can say, but you <laughs> call Jay out of all Papa, this. Papa, lawyer is quiet today. <laughs> and I'm saying, these people are not even dressed up to be preaching in church. You know, they are just <laughs> so... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> God, sister Grace, you're so precious. Uh, that was my honest first expression. And even yeah. then, we you know things were not going into my mind. And I was begging. I was asking Lioness. I tell Roshni, pray for me. I'm doing a deal. Pray for me. All the time worrying. We had this big retreat at Berwick. And Brother Johnson preached everything about finances and all that. And at the lunch interval, we were waiting. And I was very, I went and spoke to Brother Johnson. I said, Brother, I, my opening sentence was, Brother Johnson, please pray for me. I've got this huge financial debt of one million. And, he, and Brother, you just looked at me and he said, did you not listen to what I was preaching? That's all you said to me. And I felt as though I was slapped in the face. And I'm saying, why is he talking to me like that? You know, and and that that now, now what me you called bit. me was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, brother Johnson. I'm telling you the sister, honest we truth. All, we all thought like that only. <laughs> Thank God, my wife never calls me like that. <laughs> you had, you not and, calling, but thinking do, like do, that. Do you know? Do you know how much you are hurting my wife? No, I know she loves you. I know we all, we all love you. We all love you, Brother yeah. Johnson. But the, the, yeah. the scar on your face says something, you know? Yeah. Now, now you're going deeper and deeper. First my stomach. <laughs> now you came on my face. Then you say in your arms there are stitches. Yeah. <laughs> arms there are tattoos. tattoos. <laughs> hey, Linus, you, you are always a good man, man. For you don't you don't talk in between. You are everybody's good man, and yeah. we are all rowdies here. And and rowdy for Christ. Rowdy for Christ. Yes. Sister Justine, who says it? I never knew so much of truth from your own from your body. Man. I thought the truth comes from the world. Is it all I can see? My stomach with the lion and chili. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me, brother. It's your turn now. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me, Linus. No, there, there is a saying, brother, when they see, when they see a good punch, they, they say it's a sign of prosperity. So it's full of prosperity, brother. And you've got a lot of word of God. Your, your, your tummy is loaded with the word of God. Fully loaded. So it's, it's which coming which Bible are you referring that the word of God is in the tummy? Linus! <laughs> <laughs> Linus, Papa's teaching Linus. it in the heart and you say tummy. <laughs> Linus, no, Papa, out of the Linus, Linus, where did you get that? That's what I'm saying, brother. Papa, your kisses have made him go wrong. <laughs> praise God, praise God. It's it's fully loaded with with the word. I was going to say. You know, you know, you know, you know the best thing about the best thing. I'll tell you. I thank God that this is a family of love. They come and say, and you know, it doesn't matter if I look like a rowdy, I don't dress up good, I don't do this, I don't do that. I, I you know, I let me tell you, when I went to France, okay, they told me to come dressed up nicely. 
and i had to wear suit every day and every time i would wear suit now i was more concerned about what i'm wearing than preaching the word of god then on the last day i said baba i feel so awkward in that like david was wearing that you know what you say salt's garment the salt uh, yeah salt's armor war, and war. War. Yeah. yeah it was just like that in france and i said let me be me whoever wants to be them let them be there i am what i am in christ jesus amen thank you jesus so that helped me and you know the good news is the world says first impression is last impression if that was true there would be no divorce only the world makes all kinds of saying and people fall into that trap first impression last impression first impression the boy was running after the girl after that you mean, what happened you mean best impression yeah okay hmm this card this card this card so so grace said this and she disappeared no i'm here <laughs> she's there so you are there okay you are there you are there yeah, yeah, yeah. please god 